Good day. Aussie buns are blokes. Here you going? How are you, mate? Good. Excited? Yeah. Today is a pretty cool day. Me and Seth are heading down to the Adelaide Bunzai Club annual dig. And we're going to dig some olives, aren't we? Yep. And maybe maybe find an ash, we don't know. But we'll see what we can find. Yep. We also, what else are we doing? Uh, also going fishing for some brim. Yep, and in the, in the Onka Bringa. And we're going to camp the night. And maybe even do some more digging tomorrow, but we'll see what digging's like before we commit to that. Pretty cool, beautiful day. Well, actually, it's going to be a little bit cold and possibly some showers. <laughs> but we should be right. We should be right. It's still beautiful. Anyway, let's go. We're all packed. We're all ready. Let's go. Going down a fair way if, if you're wandering off just a little bit. Yeah. What do you found there, Greg? Box thorn. Digging out a box thorn? Yep. Being pricked yet? A little bit. Being safe though. You're getting there in not much time. Yeah. Big tree. There's a little bit of movement, but I don't know. It might be. Big sass once it gets out. Oh, well, a lot of branches to choose from. Yep. Cool. Sethy, what have we found? Um, a good olive. Pretty good. It's got a little bit of deadwood feature. A fairly big trunk there that we can chop back. Smaller trunk there. A nice shoot in a good location at the back. It's our first tree. We made our first cut. Pull her out, Sethy. Don't fall. Fine, not me. There we go. First branch off. Right, let's keep cutting. We're going to leave these two main ones here for a bit of leverage to pull her out the ground. So let's get digging, Seth. So. Probably just clear a couple of these branches or just start digging here. <coughs> Dig a bit of a hole. Be better. Okay, Seth, we nearly got it. Getting pretty puffed. Pull on it, Seth. Oh, there we go. Keep pushing. Yes. See if we can roll it back towards you down the hill. Yeah, keep rolling it. Nearly done, I reckon. All right, I'll give you a hand. Cool, dude. Got the tree. What do you reckon? Fairly nice. Good base, bit of dead bits. Bit of movement in the top of the trunk. Nice back branch back there. Yeah. Most what? of like it. Sweet. Good tree. Thumbs up, buddy. Well, what do you reckon, Seth? We took an hour for the first one, which you've got there, and then literally a second later, walking up the hill, spotted this beauty. Absolutely gorgeous trunk, gorgeous branch structure movement, and great for a smaller pot. Let's get it out, Seth. Let's get it out. What do you reckon? I better get working. Woo! Let's do it. Got another one. Yeah. See if she comes out, Seth. Oh, it's hot. It's coming. Alright, pull her out. See if we can pull her. Don't hurt yourself. Alright, hold it there. Okay. What do you reckon? Nice tree. It's got a beautiful trunk. Happy? Let's look at it. Yeah. Hand out the way. I oh, know, roll it back how it was. 
That was a nice view of it. Look at the radial spread of roots. This one is an absolute gold find. Look at that one. Hey. Seth, that's going to be a beautiful tree one day. Yeah, got the back part, that's cool. Cool, mate, cool. Well done, thumbs up. Andy's been digging away, sweating pretty hard in here. Yep. What do you got, Andy? A nice big olive that I found. Like this uh, this movement that we've got here, taking the trunk off there. Wicked. We'll follow it up to around about here. Super cool. And then look at this secondary trunk. Almost mimics the movement of the first one. But set back a bit. Pretty cool, man. Well done. All right, thanks. A lot of effort. Oh, found this massive one. I wasn't going to get any more big ones. Is that out the way, that top bit? Because that looks like it's yeah. going into it. Yeah. It's out the way. Oh yeah, got a, an olive. Seth's got his too, but I wasn't going to get a big one. Here we are. Carried away. Getting a real big one. And it's bloody hard work trying to dig in here. But hopefully we'll get it. Yep. Tell you what, you should sure have fun. It's pretty hard, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Way better, yeah. So, it's sort of pushing pull each way. Is it recording, sir? Yep. Um, maybe even if you get in here, yeah, you might get a better leverage on the top of it. Then we should get a bit of momentum going, I guess. Ready? Oh, oh, she goes. High five. Well oh, done. <laughs> Jesus, that's got a bowl on it. She gone. Bring your chainsaw. No. <laughs> Other boys got one. Surprisingly, my hands are fucking fine now. Works pretty well. Yeah. All right. I'll leave them longer for now. And Uh, camping with Seth, watching a movie. Bloody beauty. Car camping. Love it. What do you reckon, Seth? You having fun? Yeah. It would have been better if we got to sleep in the swags and the poles were actually in there. Yeah, I know. Someone put our swag back together and then put the poles in. But that's all right. Um, yeah, Olive digging in the morning, fishing, no fish. Now we're camping. Yep. And eating bags of chips. Get it in, you buddy. Whoa. He's already started. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm already into mine. Cheese and onion. Beautiful. All right. Let's get to digging tomorrow, but first let's watch a movie, Seth. This is yep. bloody good. Boys weekend. Love it. <laughs> what do you reckon? Love it? Yeah, it's fun. Good fun. We've had a good time. So let's get to watching the movie.
I did nothing, Daddy. Absolutely gorgeous spot to go collecting. Look at that big gully. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's day two of the digging. What do you reckon, Seth? Day two? Yeah, it's right. Hopefully we can get some more. Yep. Seth's found himself another little cool tree, day two. Yep. Digging around it. Not coming out now. Good. Oh, digging, I reckon. Not even budging. No, let's do some more digging. Look at this, guys. We're out collecting. Found this beautiful, I guess, literati style Malaluca honey myrtle. It's pretty sweet. All the twisting branches. Absolutely sweet. A lot of dead branches. Look at that. Literati. Try and get back a bit. Smile, Sethy. Sethy has found a tree and we're digging it out. Another one for Seth. It's a small one for him. Though not really that small, is it, Seth? No. What do you reckon? Excited? Yep. Oh, did you fart on camera? You. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> that was you. You did. That was you. No, I didn't. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful trunk. Getting some old bark. Some different movements around the place. Some weird ones, which is what we like. This main trunk here will have to be cut back pretty hard because it's pretty straight and boring, but the rest of it is very interesting. Hello, Sethi. And what is Sethi got here today? The new tree. Finishing it out. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Olive, once again. Yep. Beautiful trunk, beautiful movement, mouldy trunks everywhere. Sadly, we had to cut off this big branch here. Yeah, it's a bit long and straight. But the base of this thing with all the movement, pretty cool, bud. Well done. I am absolutely sweating. <laughs> absolutely sweating. Beautiful scenery, though. Let's look at it. Got a gun range over there, that's why it's so loud. Another one bites the dust. Another tree for Sethy. And Sethy's digging another one just there. This is Olive Heaven. Look at them all. Next one. Yeah, we might get me one more. We have to. Yeah. Have a good look around and find something nice and medium. Okay, Sethy, what do you got? Well, we've got a little, smaller, bushy little thing. I'm going to cut it and make it a bit smaller. And then also got this one. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's got little dark grey stripes all here. Pretty cool. Happy? Yep. Give it a bit of a spin. Good tree. Really cool, really interesting, a lot of tape, a lot of movement, a lot of branching or trunking. Yeah. Beautiful. Now I hand the phone over to Seth. Because he got himself a tree too. And, oh Jesus, here's one that I pulled out. Look at that. Pretty cool. You really, love it, don't you? I love the trunk and the old bark on it, so that's really cool. Because some of them don't bark up like that. Some do, so really cool. A lot of branching. I'll probably keep a lot of the branching. Yeah. We'll just have a sort of a bushier, taller tree rather than everyone's standard small fat one. Pretty cool. Nice. And now he's getting one of them because he used it. <laughs> Looks like another stash of someone's tree on the ground here. Trees coming out everywhere. Okay, guys, uh, Katut here has found himself a beautiful olive. Look at that base with all the branching and stuff. 
Katuts, the man with the tools. Got a reciprocating saw there. Making light work of it. How you going there, Katut? Yeah, good. Probably said it was going to be the no more, but then I walked past this one and had to get it in there. Been a, been a good weekend. How many you dug, you reckon? Uh, not too many this weekend. Just three, I reckon. Three? Yeah. Three good ones. Yeah. Last, last year I had about six. Yep. And um, this year, just being a bit more selective and had a few. Yeah, picked the better ones. Cool. Bloody beautiful looking base on it. Beautiful. Such good fun. I'm very lucky. That noise in the background's a bit annoying, but gun range. <laughs> Bloody hell. How'd we fit it all? Look at that. Ridiculous. We got a collection. Loads. Good day guys, well that rounds out the collecting trip, two day trip, absolutely you know super special thing to do with your son, um, one of those memories that will live forever and be able to look back on it forever, super cool to take your son out, not only digging for a day but digging for two days and camping and fishing, we had a great great time, he was pretty puffed. Had to have Monday off school afterwards because he was so puffed. Um, but that's okay, you know, we had a great time and it was super cool. Um, also, I'd like to thank the Adelaide Bonsai Society for um, putting it on the dig. If you ever want to go on a dig and you live in South Australia, you can join the club and go on a dig. They do it one or two times a year. So you do that. I uh, also want to thank Greg for helping me pull that big beast out. So that was pretty good. And also Andy and his mate who didn't want to be on camera for helping me wheelbarrow my big tree up the hill. So that was pretty cool. Pretty good. I was on the front with a uh, guys. I was on the front with a uh, strap. I was the donkey pulling on the front of the wheelbarrow, and he was pushing from behind. Guys. I'm trying to film me and you're mucking around. What are you doing? You're hitting the camera, guys. So yeah, I'm just out here having a coffee, editing it. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, I did this video, as you know, I cut my hand a couple of weeks ago. I did this video with my sore hand, but it had healed enough that I could use three fingers. But the feeling never came back, so then I had to go to hospital and get surgery done. Apparently I cut. Uh, two nerves in half and also my tendon was almost cut in half so I've sewed it up now I've got a few weeks of recovery so able to post this one in the meantime guys you're messing around with the camera and you're gonna knock it over no play somewhere else go somewhere else naughty boys um, yeah so basically I've got this one to put up I'll put up another one talking about the repotting and yeah might have a week delay but we'll see we might be able to work on a little tree got a couple of little trees that need working on whoa guys okay i'll cut it right there these guys are feral and they're going to smash my phone so guys hey away from there away from there naughty boys anyway cheers guys thanks for watching i was a bonsai bloke me and seth had a great time Collecting trees, it's a really, really fun thing to do. So if you've got anywhere you can go collecting trees, get out there and do it. You get yourself, uh, well, in some cases, probably the big one might be 30 years old. You get yourself a 30-year head start. So get out there, get collecting. I'll have a part two of this, maybe a little bit of a pot-up video, um, at least talking about the process of what I do after. So cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. 
the Aussie Bonzo or bloke. Or blokes, I should change it to. <laughs> Alright, cheers guys. And I'll do my best to try and keep some videos coming out. Cheers. You barrel dogs. <laughs>